Welcome back to 60 Minutes. I am here with Felipe Castro, and we are about to journey to his country, Catapoli. Very good to see you, my man. Very good. Thank you for inviting me here. He is himself a friend from my country. Oh, very, very, very good. Wow. Hello, Hello, sexy. Hey, very good. Are all these guards really necessary? My country is very unique. We have very many trees. And not the terrorists, like the hanging these trees. See. So when we find them in these trees, we hang them. Because they are trying to secretly destroy us. But no one knows this. Because you're in these trees all the time. <laughs> <laughs> is it a. What are the living standards like in this country? Very, very poor. We are the very rich. And we live in the forest. This is what compare us to Afghanistan. Hey, shut up. You do oh, not what? have the right to talk. I'm sorry, sir. Can I shoot him? You can shoot him in the leg. No. Like me, yo. So, um, do you run more of a dictatorship around here, or what's the We run, we run whatever I want. So, uh, is cutting down trees your guys' primary natural resource? No, we have other natural resources. Reproduction, and we like Re to Reproduction of what? Babies. Like the babies that come out of your uterus, they pop out in the, in nine months later. I got 52 wives, you'll, you'll see. And did you say we? Yes, 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 my man. We sent it to Americans, like you. So, uh, Americans. Off, off camera, we can go check out the weed, right? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. So, why aren't you guys using something more efficient, like axes and stuff? Because he's poor. Oh, the only reason we have those is because we can't afford axes. Axes are for Americans. Americans are rich, we are poor. So, what you do here is you just teach them how to shoot. Is that the only thing you can learn in this country? My man, my man. Okay. See, they need to fire it in the worst situations. Like you're getting choked and you have to shoot someone. You have to shoot someone while you're getting choked, right? It's an important life lesson. You miss again, I shoot. Bruh! So, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> he has Ebola. Is Ebola a big problem in your country? Very big. How do you guys deal with medical issues like this? Well, pretty much our Normally healthcare system we just do <laughs> is we just shoot. And that's I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Who said you could talk? No one. No one cares what you have to say. They care what the dictator has to run away. I would. I would. Everyone has to So. I think I'm starting to get used to how things work around here. <coughs> very Dude, good, very good, very good. Thank you. I don't think you. he had anything wrong with him. I have something. You want to die again? I am sorry. Now we take his gun because he can't. So what's the sanitation like in this uh, country? What are the normal living conditions? For it's the rest very good, very good. Very good? Very good. For, for everyone, not just you guys? For everyone. I'm very hungry. What's with all this trash? Don't you guys keep anything clean around here? I talk food I eat.
So, are you guys so overpopulated that you need to cram everything in the Yes. So, what do women do for work around here? Well, we are going to show you in this room right now. Very special American. Santa came early for you guys. Ooh. So what's your rate? 